Hey guys, this is Jella and welcome back to my channel. We are continuing the No Game Pass Filipino Town series and we are now part 8 where we will be doing this house on my back with the Sorry Sorry store. Again, for those who are asking if this is a No Game Pass town, yes and yes, this is a No Game Pass account as you can see I did not buy any Game Pass alright. I am sharing this videos because I know not everyone will buy a Game Pass, but still we make effort on making our builds better. Thanks to those who are watching and appreciating love you all. Anyways, we already made the exterior part of the house during the part 3 of this town series. So if you haven't watched the other parts of this town, the links are in the description box so you can check it out. So right now we are going to make wall partitions for our house. I will be doing this house for a family of 3 with their grandma living together with them. So we will add two rooms, making the main room a bit larger and the guest room for the grandma. So this open space on the right side will be the kitchen and then the dining table in the middle. So the living area would be near the door and the bathroom near the store. Because this house has a sorry sorry store, we will add a door going to the store from the inside. So I was thinking of adding the bathroom beside the sorry sorry store. I will make the bathroom two by two because toilets here are not that big. It is just the right size. Unless you are rich and have a big house, that is a different situation. But I'm making the classic Filipino house, not the traditional old vintage style and not the modern look. Rather, we are sticking to what the majority of houses in a town in the Philippines would look like. As for the interior doors, I used the standard wooden door but changed the texture and color to white since white doors is commonly used for interior. For the flooring, we will use the same floor for the whole house except in the bathroom. We will use a bright wood color vinyl tiles, but it is just linoleum hee hee. This is commonly used in Filipino houses with rough cement floor. We will be using the wood plank flooring texture all around their house. And to add more details, I am just adding wall trims which is also wooden color. As for the toilet, we will use this floor tiles because this is how old house tiles would look like and it is very much realistic since toilets are always being used and it gets old faster. Beside the toilet is the kitchen, so we will copy the counter we made last time for the part 5 of this town series. I want to use this counter as well because this is how old kitchen counter in old houses would look like. So for the kitchen layout, I actually don't have a fixed idea with this, so I am just going to add the necessary kitchen items like a fridge stove and electric kettle. But the fridge on the side is making the kitchen look cramped and smaller. So I moved the fridge to the other side instead and make this kitchen more open even though it is small. I moved the sink area to the left side and then the rest of the counters would be for cooking and prepping. I am going to add a cabinet over the fridge and I think that will be the only overhead cabinet we will have in this kitchen. As for the stove, we will go classic and use the single stove burner but since we do not have a plain one, we will use this canning station again. This is what Filipino stove typically looks like. And of course, every Filipino household has an electric kettle that literally looks like this hee hee. I will not recolor this because it looks like the one we also have at home. And then we will add a storage shelf above the kettle area and since we cannot place the shelf because of the window, we are going to use the technique we do for our no game pass builds. Delete first item which is the window and then drag the shelf to where you like it to be and press Ctrl Z at the same time left click to place the shelf. I'm glad you guys have been finding this hack easy and I hope new viewers would get the hang of it as well. Anyways this is where we will place some condiments and other kitchen necessities. If you find it difficult to place items closer together, you can always do the delete undo technique. It will be tricky at first, but you will get the hang of it. We do not have a game pass that is why we need to do these techniques or hacks. But if you guys have the advanced placing game pass, you will have a much easier time placing items closer. I colored the walls to cashmere to give it a brighter look and still use the plaster texture because this is how rough finished walls in the Philippines would look like. I used the shade of yellow so it would not be too bright yellow toned but would still capture the essence of a Filipino house. Why are native Filipino houses have this colored wall hee hee? Anyways, I colored all the walls cashmere except the main bedroom because I will color it different later. I am just adding more kitchen items so as to make it look lived in. So we have this counter for the prepping area and that is why I placed the chopping board over here. I copied the sliced meat from the wet market and let's pretend that the mom is cooking pork sinigang for lunch. 
I wanted to make this kitchen full of items because that is how typical Filipino kitchens are, and let's not forget the salt and pepper to taste. I made the corner empty so we can place the dish rack, and this really fits since most items in a Filipino household are plastic material. I also added the pans on the wall since the mom and grandma loves cooking. I just made the stove burner a bit darker shade. And I think the kitchen items are not looking full. So I am adding more kitchen decors to make the counters full. Let's add more bottles here like the soy sauce vinegar and a jar of sugar. We love adding random spices, so that's what the small spice rack is for. And I'm just gonna clutter the counters with more kitchen decors. I actually don't know what more to add because I just want it to look super cluttered and lived in. So we have a mortar and pestle there and a cheese grater hee hee. Anyways, let's not forget the bar soap that is very much used in the Philippines and an old sponge that gets super tattered before it gets replaced hee hee. I'm gonna recolor the soap to blue because it is mostly antibacterial soap and is commonly bought. I have the other wall empty, so we will just add hook racks for things we can hang like an apron, a cleaning rag, or anything we just wanna hang. I'm also adding a board where we stick on bills and other payments that we need to pay off. I just added a trash bin on the side as well. Now for the dining area, we will use this rectangular table because this has the right size we need. The other dining tables are just super huge and wide, so this is the perfect size for this area. So we have a wooden table that was gifted by the grandparents of the mom and dad when they got married. We will just add a table runner and I will just place it in the middle. I placed a fruit bowl in the middle since most of the Filipino houses I see have a fruit bowl in the center of their dining table. And as for the chair, we will just use the rustic chair. The dining table and chair was given as a set. Now let's move to the living area for now and we have a tight space for the living room. We will just use this TV console table because it has some clutter on the bottom part of the shelf and most Filipino houses have so many random things placed inside this table. This may or may not look like the one in our house, hee hee. I just changed the texture of the table to make it wooden as well. And since houses are now modern, the family bought their new flat screen TV. We are going to use this Akuzlam TV which is very cheap for its size. Of course, we are going to add some electric outlets to make this house more realistic looking. Now for the couch, we will use this simple sectional sofa and the dad bought this when they first moved to this house. A lot of sofas look like this, but what will make it look like it is in a Filipino house is the pattern on the sofa cover. You know the typical Filipino houses would have an overly pattern with regards to sofa covers, pillowcases, bed sheets, and even curtains. You can also change the pillows on sofa chairs. Just drag the new pillow onto the spot of the old pillow, and you can also use the transform tool on pillows and blankets for free. This is without buying the transform tool game pass. So for those saying I am using a game pass, why would I not use a free one when I don't have to buy the game pass hee hee? Let's use everything to our advantage because it is completely free. I am sharing everything I am learning to all the new players and those who also want to make their builds better without buying anything. Anyway, if you like a more budget-friendly floor plant, what I do is buy the plant that I like to use and buy the cheapest pot. We are actually saving a bit money, I think about $20 to $50 difference, depending on the pot and plant you will use. I am going to add this simple bookshelf with books on it because I am not in the mood of cluttering up. And the good thing is we don't have to match things and furniture items in a Filipino house. So only Filipinos would get this type of random color aesthetic build hee hee. I'm just adding some photo frames to make the shelf fuller. The books here are good enough to look like a cluttered shelf and this books has not been thrown away even though it hasn't been opened for like almost a decade hee hee. Let's be honest, our parents don't want to throw this items because it would be a waste, so it will end up making the house super cluttered. I am adding a console table in front where household items are just randomly placed. We will also add some frames and this will be the school certificates and diploma from their school days. Filipinos would hang up certificates and diplomas so that visitors would see that they graduated with this kind of degree. I'm gonna add a family portrait on the wide frame later, so if you like the decal code, I will link it down below in the description box. For the other decals, I will just search in the free images. Anyways, we will just clutter this table with some paperworks of the dad, and the books here are Bible, a car key, and some perfumes. I copied that mat from the kitchen, and let's not forget to add light switches. And we will use this cheap light switch since this is the closest switch we can use. 
And I'm just gonna add this folding umbrella since it is rainy season here in the Philippines. I added this round rug since the rectangular was super large, and I think the size is good enough for this small space. Now let's move on to the main bedroom and we will use this cheap double bed. And you all know that I will make the bed sheet on this bed with a patterned one, and since this is a family of three, we will add three pillows on this bed. Filipino families sleep together since we only have small rooms in each houses. If we are given another room, we can use that room for the grandparents or relatives that would stay over. But in large houses, children have a separate room. But for this family, they have their baby girl sleeping beside them. I also added a high chair for their baby on the dining table. Anyways, we love a very long bolster pillow and every Filipino kid had these growing up. We call this hot dog pillow hee hee. I'm connecting three pillows to make a long bolster pillow. I also moved the window a bit to the side because I will be adding some storage cabinet on the side of the bed later. For now I am adding this plastic Orokin cabinet that is very popular in Filipino houses. This is cheaper than buying a large wooden cabinet. We also love buying storage plastic containers where we put our clothes, beddings or towel and even personal items and kids toys. Because we Filipinos do not throw away stuff easily, there will be a lot of boxes that are not really opened because it is just full of old items. So we have those boxes above the cabinets. I am adding this large dresser that the mom bought on sale. This dresser has their baby clothes and other clothing like garments and socks. I'm gonna add some newly folded clothes on the side. I'm gonna clutter this as well to make it more lived in. So let's just put some skincare and hygiene products. And since they have a 14-month-old baby girl, I'm gonna add some baby things in the room. The wall is quite empty so I added a photo frame on the wall. And we should not forget to give them a decent mirror, so we will just use this large wall mirror. I'm also going to add this bag for the working dad. And of course, we wouldn't forget the ironing board on the side. This is perfect. I am loving how it slowly turns into a family house. I just changed the wall color to a shade of blue. And since this is a Filipino house, we will add hanging clothes on the wall. Good thing we had this update so we don't need to make a clothesline. Anyways, the house is not complete without baby toys so we will add more scattered onto the house. By adding toys it makes the house really have character that there is a family living here. And we will be adding a rocking chair on this corner because as we mentioned earlier, the grandma is currently living with them. She is also helping the mom take care of the baby and sometimes guard out on their sorry sorry store. Even though they have TV, she still sometimes like reading newspapers every morning. Now let's move on to Granny's bedroom. This room is very small since the couple planned that this would be a storage room for them. But ever since they got married, the grandma wanted to move in since she was left all alone and she wanted to stay with her daughter and the family. She is a very hardworking grandma that loves to cook and serve her daughter's family, so she helps out a lot especially with watering the plants she recently bought. We have this small Arokan cabinet with her personal belongings, and I'm making the clothes a bit older looking with patterns as well. I'm also adding this small comb and glasses on the dresser. And we will add this nail polish because I remembered how grandmas love doing their nails, that was also what my grandma would do. She would clean our nails and add nail polish on them as well. I added a frame there, but I will change that to a calendar later on. I added this hanging clothes rack so she can hang some of her other clothes here. There's also a built-in overhead cabinet for extra storage and some old items that the couple have are placed there. If you have difficulty placing the two cabinets, just do the delete undo technique we do and you can place them beside each other. Now we will work on the toilet and bath we have a 2x2 two two size room and this is the typical size of Filipino bathrooms. We just need a sink, a toilet bowl, and a faucet. No shower needed because we use a pail and dipper to take a bath. I also added this drum of water because there are times that towns run out of water and you will need a backup source of water. That is what the drum of water is for. We also place the shampoos, soap bar, and toothpaste on top of the drum and this is quite accurate since we don't need to buy corner shelf hee hee. I added a laundry basket on the corner, a trash bin, and a hook rack for the towels and changing clothes. We will also add a training potty since the baby is 14 months now. Of course most of the baby items are pink because she is a girl. I also added a toilet paper and plunger on the side. 
I still think we have a few baby items so I am adding this crayon set since at this time of age, babies love to scribble on paper's floors and especially walls hee hee. I almost forgot the stroller which is a necessity, so we will just add it on the empty side of the dining area and of course we will color it pink. Now for the last part of this house, we will move to the Sari Sari store. And for the shelf part on this window, we will be doing the delete and undo technique. So if you guys have done this a few more times, you will get a hang of it. So we will delete the window first, and then drag the shelf to the spot you like it to be placed and before clicking it, press the Ctrl Z at the same time you left click to place. And it sometimes will not work at first try, but we have to do it over again to succeed. Now we want the shelf to be on the same length level as well. So we will add six shelves so we do this six times. So this shelves are for the candy jars and chips we will display later. As for the jars, we will be using this round jar as it is most likely to look like a jar from the sticko. Usually that is the jar where candies are being placed so the owners of the store wouldn't need to buy a nicer jar. I'm just gonna recolor the lid to plastic red, and then we will pretend that there are candies inside. It is usually max candy with different flavors or mentos, frutos, white rabbit. Uh, I miss eating candies and not worrying about my sugar level hee hee. I adjusted the height of the bottom shelf so we can place and now I am going to add a lot of candy jars and just change the colors of the candy making different flavors. I am duplicating the jars and let's just pretend that each jar has a different flavor of that different brand. As for the chips, I didn't want to add decal chips so we will use this bag and pretend that they are bag of chips. I forgot to make space in the bottom part in the middle where the customer would give their payment. This is usually a part of the shop that has grills on it for safety and protection on the items being sold. So I moved the other chips for now to make a space in the middle. I will just make the chips in different color order and use the other bag of chips later. Now we will add a wide shelf at the back of other items the Sari Sari store sells. As much as I want to add a hanging sachet of shampoos and conditioner or sachet of condiments, I don't have time to make a decal for that, so instead we will just add items on the shelf. I placed more chips on the shelf and that is the reference photo of why I colored the chips like that. As for this small boxes, these are sanitary napkins or pads and it is usually lavender or light blue so I made it like that. And since we don't have a hanging decal for the condiments, I will just add this bottles of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, soy sauce, vinegar, and fish sauce. So I just turned back the bottle so it won't be seen as a ketchup bottle, rather a plain bottle with the said condiments. And I wanted to add canned goods, but I didn't want to go to the grocery to buy the canned beans. So instead, I will just recolor this to make it look like a canned food, and let's pretend that it is hee hee. I'm also adding some toilet papers on the bottom, and since the shampoo bottles are too tall to be placed, let's just add toothpaste. I want to add some instant noodles like the Pancit Canton, so we will just use a decal for that. And I just searched up Pancit Canton in the free images search bar because I do not have time to make my own decal for the food items, so sorry. But if you have time to make your own decal, that would be amazing to have more food options. I'm just adding a small table here for a small storage drawer where we put the coins and bills that customers paid. And of course, we will need a chair for the grandma that guards the store. So we will just use this folding chair since it is quite comfy to sit on. I'm just gonna use this new plaid pattern since it is super cute. And I copied the board we have on the kitchen area. So the papers pinned on the board are a list of names that didn't pay yet and are in debt. Sometimes customers would not pay and say to put their name on the list of debt and that they will pay next time. So that is what the board is for. Anyways, we will add a car on the side since we do not have a parking space. Most cars are just parked in front of the houses and makes the street smaller. Before we forget, we still haven't added lightings in the house. So of course we will add a ceiling fan, but we will use the traditional fan and change the lighting shade to make it warmer. I'm just checking if the light color is too bright so I changed some of it to linen. For the other parts of the house that doesn't reach lighting from the ceiling fan, we will use the ceiling light and use linen as the shade. I used that on the toilet and the Sari Sari store. I also changed the shade on the main bedroom because it was too bright and just added a few ceiling lights on the corner. I am just checking to see what else I should add and I almost forgot that it was the curtains. So we will just use the plain curtains and recolor and change the texture. 
I think the mom loves color green since she has a lot of fabric cloth that is colored green like this sofa cover, table runner, and chair covers as well as the curtains. Anyways, we are done. All right, guys, we finished Mama Lily's house with Sorry Sorry Store. And the total plot value right now is $275,055. And this is a no Game Pass account as you can clearly see I did not buy any Game Pass since this is not my main account. So guys, before you comment about me using a Game Pass, please watch the whole video, hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, let me show you guys a tour. So this is how the exterior part of the Sorry Sorry store looks like, and I actually love it. It really feels like a Sorry Sorry store now. Exterior part of this house is on part 3, link in my description box. So this is the dad's car parked in front of their house. They just bought this second hand so the dad would not travel by commute to his workplace. Okay, so let's head inside, and we leave the slippers outside the house. Thank you, hee hee. So this is what the front looks like when you open the door. You will see the console table with the diploma and certificates from graduation. And we also have a family portrait from a family reunion years ago. So that is the entry area. Let's go to the living area, and it is quite small, but it is surely cozy for the family of four. We have a lot of toys scattered by their baby girl because this is where she stays most of the time when she turned one. So this is the overly patterned sofa cover that the mom bought and very bright pillowcase that is not actually matching hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, this is the dining area and we also have a high chair for the baby. So the grandma was reading the newspaper earlier. We just placed the stroller on the side randomly because we do not have any other space to put it. You know cause in real life. You just put things on the side temporarily, but it becomes permanent hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, this is our kitchen and I actually love it. It is actually my favorite part of the house because I love the amount of clutter here that made it look lived in. So the grandma is preparing pork sinigang for lunch and she just bought pork from the wet market. I also added the rocking chair for the grandma on this corner because she wants this spot and still sees the TV from here. I actually tried to sit on a rocking chair before and I thought I fell down because the amount of backward movement it does OMG, I was so scared I don't want to sit on it again hee <laughs> hee. Now let's go to granny's bedroom. It is actually small but we managed to fit a single bed and small dresser for her. She loves to do her nails so that is why there is nail polish. I changed the frame here to a calendar. So yeah that is granny's bedroom. So now this is the main bedroom for the couple and their baby girl. It is quite big for now, but when the child grows up, they will have a hard time with this small space. So this is the dresser for the baby and some small garments are also here. We have the dad's bag and other necessities on top of the dresser. I also added this calendar here and decal is from the image search bar. On the other side, we have the ironing board and laundry basket. So the mom has just finished ironing and folding their clothes. Some of the clothes are still hanged on the wall. So we have a lot of storage containers filled with clothes and other stuff like the blankets and beddings. We also have this plastic R oak and cabinet which definitely gives off a Filipino house vibe. Anyways, the mom, dad, and baby all sleep here since this is quite a large bed. The mom bought this bed sheet in an online store on sale. And of course we have a hot dog pillow here hee <laughs> hee. I think all Filipino kids have this. Going to our toilet and bath, it is quite small but it really gives off a classic Filipino toilet, right? We have the drum of water for backup. And we use a faucet, pail, and dipper when we take a bath. Usually mirrors in the toilet are oval so I use this. And we also have the training potty for the baby. So yeah, that is our toilet and bath. And lastly, the Sorry Sorry store. Glad we have a screen door to use. So this is the inside of the Sorry Sorry store. It is actually quite spacious since we do not have a lot of items to sell. We have here the list of those who still haven't paid their debt. But yeah, the grandma usually sits here to guard the store and be the vendor while the mom takes care of the baby. So we have a lot of different candies in the jar and the chips are here in the bottom. I remembered when I was young, my grandma owns a sorry sorry store in our province and when we visit her during vacation, I would volunteer to guard the store. Because I also want to eat candies and gums hee <laughs> hee. I don't know if she knew I was eating those candies while I was watching hee <laughs> hee. 
but this is the drawer for the payments. We have a different layer for the coins and for the bills. Anyways, I have some more items that the family is selling. So we have here Pansit Canton Calamansi flavor, which is my favorite. I wanted to add different flavors, that is why I added a lot of frames, but I just searched up and that is the only flavor we have. Anyways, we have chips, sanitary napkins or pads, condiments, canned goods, toilet papers, and toothpaste. So yeah, that is our sorry sorry store. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like this Filipino house as much as I do. This is probably second to the last part of this town series, which means that the next part would be the final part. I still haven't made the bakery, so that might be the last part for our Filipino town series because I don't want to decorate all the houses in here. So we will just have two houses filled in, this sorry sorry store and the house with the bakery. Anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Also click on the notification bell so you won't miss the latest videos I upload. Let's hit 10,000 subscribers before 2024 ends. As always, the build information, decal codes, and links of the other part of this Filipino town are written in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. Thank you so much everyone for your support. I hope you are all safe and have a wonderful day, afternoon, or night. Love you all and take care. See you on my next video.